What is going on YouTube? Joey here for my second video of 2023 and today I present the entirety of my vintage wrestling collection. So vintage is different for everybody but for me when I think of vintage wrestling in my age I think of like late 90s early to late 2000s so I have way more wrestling t-shirts and sweatshirts than this like Seth Rollins. I got more Seth Rollins than anything else but this is just vintage in just 90s and 2000s for the most part. This is what I consider vintage. So this is my entirety of my collection. Um, I'm gonna try to go through it quickly and just, if I can remember, say where I got the, the piece. So first up, we got this 2005 Triple H shirt with the Iron Cross graphic. Triple H on the back, WrestleMania 21 authentic. Not a lot of fade to it, pretty good shape. Personally, one of my favorites and Triple H's uh, one of my favorite wrestlers. Yeah, I'm not going to fold those. That'll take too long. Next up, we got a 2004 Eddie Guerrero t-shirt. My buddy Matt gave this to me. Shout out to him. I like Eddie Guerrero. It's one of my favorite shirts. The low rider on the back. WWE tag. 2004. Pretty cool piece there. Right here, we got the WCW Total Package Lex Luger t-shirt. I am meeting him Saturday. We'll be wearing this. Uh, I got, also got this for free. My aunt gave it to me because it was hers when she was younger. Next up, we got the John Cena Word Life t-shirt from 2003, I want to say. Yeah, because right before WrestleMania 20, it's a ringer t-shirt. It's got like some marks on the back, but I still think it's wearable. And just the colorway and it actually has like some glitter on the knuckles. I think it's a great t-shirt. And a lot of Cena. Next up is another Cena. Uh, this one with like the yellow background kind of gives like that Hawkeyes colors vibe, sorta kind of to it. Also, a little to your respect on the back. This is from 2007. Pretty cool right there. We got another John Cena t shirt. Live fast, fight hard. Also, like that weird gold. The chain gang on the back. This is from 2006. Next up, we got another John Cena. Those are both uh, thrift shop finds, by the way, in Des Moines. This is another thrift shop find in Des Moines. The signature on the back. The champ is here on the front. It's been kind of a while, but there was like a point where I was finding John Cena t-shirts almost every week in my size. I got this one off of somebody on Instagram and wore this to the second Monday Night Raw they did after COVID and they shut down events. But 2008 John Cena with the belt plate on the bottom. The champ is here. You got the huge print of the dog tags on the back. This shirt right here, this started thrifting vintage for me. I went into the Salvation Army here in Des Moines, Iowa, just was bored with one of my buddies and wanted something to do and I found this t-shirt on the racks in there and ever since that day I've been hooked to vintage and vintage wrestling. So this is my first ever, uh, first, sorry, first ever thrift shop find and probably one of my favorite t-shirts I own. I just love that graphic, the spinning belt, everything. That shirt just does everything for me. A rare one I got on eBay, the 2005 John Cena Chain Gang Soldier t-shirt. You want some, come get some on the back. I don't wear that one as much just because it's white and I just stay worried about it. 2004 camo, you can't see me, John Cena t-shirt. Nothing on the back. It's also a rare one. 2004 Batista shirt. This one's also pretty rare. Shout out to, I don't know the name of her vintage right now, but her name's Alex and she does vintage around the Des Moines area. She gave me this for one hell of a deal right there. The Animal Batista. I got this off of some random person on Instagram. The 2006 HBK Shawn Michaels shirt. Rise above on the back. I got this on Poshmark, I think, for a really good price. The wraparound print WWF t-shirt. We got Austin and Triple H on the front. And then it's got like The Rock on the side and Undertaker on the back. I got this on Mercari, the Cactus Jack, Mick Foley t-shirt, Jack is back, bang bang on the back. 
Also, for the record, as of right now, none of these are for sale. But, like, as I'm doing this, some of these I don't wear as much or don't need. I might consider selling, like, that Cactus Jack one. I don't need to read the front. It explains itself. Drink beer. Stone Cold Steve Austin t-shirt. This was also on Mercari. <clears throat> I got this on eBay for, like, 20 bucks. It was just one of those things where... I got on eBay right when it was listed. They obviously didn't know what they had, and I bought this new with tags. WWF Stone Cold Steve Austin t-shirt. I, I bought someone's collection. It came with this. I actually wore this to the Hall of Fame induction ceremony for The Undertaker, but it is the WWF Undertaker t-shirt with the lightning, and then the purple WWF hit on the back. Absolutely love it great fade it's a large i wear a medium but it like fits like a it's like a boxy medium it fits like it's a perfect fit i just love that shirt i got this off of somebody on facebook marketplace it is the wcw giant t-shirt and it's got the stats on the back i've always thought that's pretty cool again i don't wear that one too often but you get a deal you gotta come you gotta get the deal sometimes you know if you come across a good one the WWF Invasion pay-per-view t-shirt. I like the back hit too because it's got the PlayStation logo right there on the corner and I am a PlayStation guy. I've had this shirt since I was a little kid. It might have came from like Target or something or Walmart. I really don't remember but it just kind of has everybody on it. It's from like 2008, 2009. Doubt it still fits but it's a childhood t-shirt. We got the WWF Kurt Angle t-shirt right there it's true it's true on the back i'm actually going to be on a show with kurt in the summer and i'm definitely going to wear that and get a photo with him right here the absolute greatest Shawn michaels t-shirt there is i just got this the wrestlemania 12 Shawn michaels boyhood dream t-shirt i mean we got people like george kittle go hawks out there wearing this absolutely love it my aunt used to have this shirt, and she freaking donated it. Didn't even, like... I doubt she did it on purpose, but damn. But after years of searching, I came across one for a good deal. And I now have one in my collection. Which is always great. Here's my only dead stock t-shirt in my collection. It is... Let me check the year real quick. A 1991 WWF Hulk Hogan t-shirt. White, cool graphic. I just... Maybe I'll wear it. I say that every time. I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. We got the original Hulkamania t-shirt right there with the WWF tag. Right here we got the WWE Crew t-shirt. 2007. Just world tour. Pretty cool t-shirt there. 2006, not 2007. I think they did that same shirt for like 2006 up to 2010 though. Like, That's one thing that's cool about stuff like this is you can get this shirt... And there's some of them that say 2007, 2008. Like, you don't have to get the 2006 version. <clears throat> Another one of my favorites, the WWE Triple H. Pain is temporary. The game is forever. No foreplay on the back. That was a thrift shop find in Ankeny. Got this on eBay about five years ago. The Undertaker American Badass. Fighting is my lifestyle. Big, e big evil t-shirt it's another classic i actually forgot it had that like if i would have known i would have worn that to the hall of fame instead of the other one <clears throat> right here we got the 2002 wwe draft t-shirt i'll do it till i'm raw it's got the small wwe logo on the back next up we got another hogan the hollywood hulk hogan wcw shirt him like spray painting it's got like it's like cracked it's perfect fade another one of those i just love Right here, we got the 2009, I want to say, Triple H t-shirt. This is like when I first started watching wrestling, 2008, 2009, and this is the shirt he was wearing, and I just, I love the back with the skulls. Just an awesome t-shirt. Found that one on Mercari, I think. This one right here is a holy grail, and it seriously took me years and years and years of searching, and I just noticed there's a stain on the collar. Hopefully, I can get that out, but... It is what it is. It's very hard to find in my size or in general. But it's the John Cena Chain Gang Soldier basketball jersey from 2005. Extremely hard to find. Hopefully I can get that stain out. I just now noticed that. 
almost just as hard to find the 2005 John Cena Chain Gang Soldier basketball jersey. Another one of my favorites. We got the Undertaker t-shirt from 2007, 2008, I'm going to guess, with the graveyard on the back. Pretty cool right there. That one for sure was a thrift shop find. I bought this off of my brother's friend's mom. It is a WWF Raw is War football jersey. She claimed she got at WWF New York. Picked that up a couple months ago. I actually got this for free from a drunk fan at a wrestling show. I was going to offer him cash for it, but he just took it off, walked out of the venue without a shirt on, and gave me this. This WWF Stone Cold Steve Austin football jersey. Pretty cool. That'll do it for my jerseys. I did a trade with my buddy Matt again for this. The 2003 Rob Van Dam t-shirt. I mean, the front's all right, but the back graphic's what does it for me. Really, really cool back graphic on that. Another one of my first uh, vintage finds. I think I found this like a day or two after I found that John Cena shirt I was talking about. So somebody must have just got rid of some old wrestling stuff. But it's the D-Generation X t-shirt with the big spray paint on the back and Triple H and Shawn Michaels on the front. Another one of my favorites. We got the Rey Mysterio t-shirt. I think I won this on Whatnot. Sweet graphic on the front on the back too and it's like that perfect fade and perfect wear on it it's like super soft my buddy matt again he gave me this one too wcw sting shirt i don't wear this one as much because there's a hole on the bottom of it unfortunately but i don't think he gave it to me like that i think i somehow got the hole in it we got this wcw <clears throat> four horseman t-shirt i'm a bears fan so i like that it has mongo on it and i love rick flair but like I don't wear that. I've worn it once and like, even still, just something with Chris Benoit on it. I don't think I can wear, you know. Another one of my childhood favorites, we got Jeff Hardy. This is one of those shirts like the back graphic better, him doing the Swanton Bomb. There's a Jeff Hardy t-shirt. That's a thrift shop find. This one was also a thrift shop find the same day. The classic Hardy Boy shirt Lil Yachty was wearing. The back's got like these weird stains or something though. I don't know. If it's on the back, I'm not usually going to care. I'm still going to rock the t-shirt. We got another Jeff Hardy. 2009. The big print, Immune to Fear. And then to finish it off, another shirt I've had since I was a kid. The Batista 2008 The Animal. Love that graphic and love that shirt. And that'll do it. That is my complete vintage wrestling collection. Again, that's my collection. Most of that is not for sale. Um, there's still some Triple H pieces I'm out there looking for. There's still some Undertaker, even still some Cena pieces I need. But I've slowed down a lot because I'm pretty happy with what I have. Maybe get a couple more Stone Colds in there or something like that. Also, the Stone Cold hat, $1 at the flea market. I It was pretty dirty. I washed it, restored it. Now it looks nice. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. That's my complete wrestling collection. Might be some other collection videos coming up, so make sure you like this video, subscribe, and stay tuned for